many sites that are looking at air emissions issues uh, typically are going to go through some form of air emissions modeling or air dispersion modeling. And in many cases, the results of this sort of modeling is to, for example, determine a higher stack as a way of dealing with air emissions problems. One of the things that air emissions modeling engineers may wish to consider is the use of selective catalytic reduction as an alternative to putting up a higher stack. The benefit of selective catalytic reduction is that it allows the NOx to be dealt with at the source as opposed to relying on the dispersion of NOx through a stack. So this is an option that you may want to consider as you're doing an overall site layout. And it's a significant way also to improve the overall look of the site because we have many installations where the uh, architecture or the architect will determine a particular look of a facility only to find out that subsequently the only way to get an air permit is to install a very tall stack which also draws attention in an unsatisfactory way to that site. So, Use of selective catalytic reduction allows for significantly smaller stacks and may be an interesting option for certain types of projects.